Hey fire signs and welcome to your daily love reading. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not all messages will be for you, so take what fits the of a cross washer. The messages are meant for those 18 years and for entertainment purposes only. So let's see what you guys got going on today. These messages are timeless. When you see it, you're meant to see it. All that glitters. Clarified with poise. All right. So it's it's asking you to take a kind of take a deeper look. Uh, not everything is what it appears to be. Um, I'm getting for a lot of you. It's kind of like not being able to see the forest from the trees. It's like you could be hearing one thing, but it's actually another. Um, so so really look into where those feelings are coming from. This is a this is a blessed divine union because there is a an angel um, looking over that card. Um, keep your composure, stay poised. Um, try to avoid conflict because you could be um, you could have some unresolved issues from the past that has nothing to do with this person. So just make sure you're conscious of that. And to, you know, take the high ground, to look within. This is going to come around to become something um, something that really does glitter. Something that really is gold, you know. All right, fire signs. Let's get your energy. First three cards, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they have going on in love today? Thank you. All right, the high priestess. The Four of Swords. There's healing that that past um, those past issues. Going within, looking within, finding that healing. Seven of Swords. Yeah, most definitely. There's been some heartache in the past for you, Fire Signs. Let's see the person you are dealing with. Ooh. All right, the Nine of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. Spirit's advice is judgment. The Seven of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles is your potential outcome. Seven of Wands is your shared energy, clarified with the Ace of Wands and Page of Cups. Okay, so Fire Designs, like I was saying, try to remain poised. There's some heartache, some hurt that you haven't healed from over the in the past, whether it be from this person or somebody else. Um, for a lot of you, it's it's somebody else. It's stemming from a different situation. And you're both on guard. You're both feeling very defensive. Um, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of fuel between the two of you that can ignite this, you know, this fire, these flames. But you're feeling very on guard. Like you got to defend your every thought, action, you know. Um, your person may not see this as such a big deal as you do with the Page of Cups. They're, they're offering... Um, you could be very defensive because they're only offering the Page of Cups. You're coming in as a high priestess, very um, spiritually evolved, very, um, you know, spiritually grounded, and, and they're offering you the Page of Cups. So, yeah, there was, there was a situation in the past where um, there was secrets, there was, you know, juggling. Somebody wasn't putting in the energy that was necessary to make this connection work. That had to happen. Whatever relationship that was, whether it be this one or a different one, that had to happen because that juggling, that heartache, that um, those secrets, the deception, um, it allowed you to go in and find yourself. It allowed you to 
connect with the divine again that you weren't necessarily doing up to that point. Um, it allowed you to find yourself and it allowed you to truly mature spiritually as well as emotionally. Um, it took a lot of healing. This, you know, there wasn't much, there wasn't much communication between the two of you in the past. Um, because this time was needed. Yeah. This time was needed to heal. You were somebody's secret or you kept somebody a secret in your life. And that really hurt. So whoever was the secret, that's the person that's on top here. But there was a lot of healing that had to be um, done because of that. Once again, but in that time of healing, you were able to ascend to that higher level of consciousness. You're able to connect to that divine, to get the divine secrets. Um and find balance in your life again. When you met this person, you could have been out of, you know, out of balance. You could have just gotten out of a toxic relationship. But because of them not putting in the um, investment into the connection, you really had to go within and heal those three of swords that was caused by you being a secret. But coming out of that time of healing with that ace of swords, the truth. Um, the truth about yourself, the, you know, finding that deeper meaning in life. Why is the seven of swords here? The lovers and the chariot. Wow. So, ten of wands. This is the end of a cycle. Whether you leave this person or whether you leave together, this is no longer going to happen. That is the past. The lovers and the chariot, both cards of duality. Um, there was a choice that needed to be made. And if you're not their one and only choice, you are walking away. Tired of feeling like there's lack of communication. Tired of feeling like that constant worry about is there somebody else. Um, the chariot always leads, leaves the tower and heads towards success. So this person is choosing you or you are choosing them um, and putting the past behind. Uh, moving forward, allowing the divine to uh, lead the way and leading towards victory. This is a destined relationship. Like I was saying, this is a divine connection. I feel it very strongly, um, especially with the high priestess twice, the chariot and the lovers. In every card, there's duality. There's white and black lovers. There's two um, with the angels. And they're all about the higher connection, connecting with the angels, allowing the divine to guide because this is a divinely protected connection. The person you're dealing with, they could have had addictions in the past. They could have overindulged in things. And that was very hurtful for you because they were focusing on other things besides you. They were putting something else in front of the connection. And that became very hurtful. And that's what caused you to go within. Yeah, the four of wands. So they were, they were living with somebody else. So they weren't able to give you their full connection. And... They thought they could eat their cake and eat it too. For some of you, for some of you, they were only there because they were indulging in um, some sort of toxic energy that they were allowed to have addictions. They were allowed to overindulge in whatever it is that they wanted, you know, gambling, whatever. It doesn't, you know, whatever they were having too much excess of, but they were still able to keep stability with that other person. And that is why... They weren't able to fully commit to you. They do have the two pinnacles here. They have been down a rough road. They have been through some stuff themselves. Um, they're trying to juggle. They were, they're exhausted. Look at how ragged and rugged they are. In the beginning, they're like, I can handle this. I can do this. Now they're just ready to find balance. Once again, another card of duality. They're just ready to find balance. That rainbow between the two pinnacles is showing that they're coming through the storm. They're getting out of that hellacious connection that they were in before they're finding peace they're working very hard to make the ten of pentacles life for you could be dealing with a virgo here we also have uh you know water science here gemini so <clears throat> working working very hard to get out of a connection that was very toxic um and just not meant for them even if it wasn't that bad, it just wasn't for them. This person was allowing your person to be codependent on them financially, emotionally, however however that fits. They have the nine of wands. They're just about done with this battle. They're just about out of this uh, connection. 
and they're ready to find success. They're ready to move forward. Um, why is this Nine of Wands here for their person? Oh. Wow. Okay. So the Ten of Swords. They're ready. They're ready to lay all, it all out there and be done. This is the end of a cycle, an end of a situation where somebody felt very backstabbed and betrayed. Um, they're most definitely just about out of a connection. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, no matter what sign you are to me as husband and wife, then with the Hierophant, both in reverse, they are leaving whoever they were in this commitment with um, and leaving behind the Ten of Swords. No longer going to put up with that. And it's, it's amazing that it's right under the chariot and the lovers. The two of you are choosing each other, moving forward. They're getting out of a situation um, that was not meant for them. They are hearing the call, or you, wh whoever the person is that is leaving. They are hearing the call from the universe. They're seeing the truth. They're being awakened in a way that they've never been before. They're starting to see things very, very clearly. Why is judgment here? But it's time to make a choice. Um, stay poised. Take the high road. What's meant for you will come for you. And this person is on their way. Why is the judgment here? If you guys are together now, but they're still getting out of a connection, um, it's going to get better. This is coming to an end. And they're going to be able to focus on you. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune and Page of Swords. Speak the truth. By you speaking the truth, um, by hearing this wake-up call, or this is them, by then hearing... Um, some information, it is going to move things forward and things are moving forward in a positive, positive direction. Um, things are going to start working out in your favor with the Ace of Pentacles. They are seeing that the universe is here giving them this last chance, this last opportunity. Um, no longer confused, uh, getting out of the state of illusions and delusions, no longer trying to fool themselves or anybody else. They're not happy where they're at. They're coming towards you. If you two are already together, but they still have somebody in the background that they're getting a divorce from or splitting free from, they are getting out of that connection to um, come towards this one. They're, they're no longer, they're starting to see the connection. This is a past life relationship, but their person could have been trying to confuse them due to children, um, trying to keep them there because of children, but that's no longer going to be the case. Yeah, they, they are healed from that. They're seeing that. No longer stressing over that. Finding confidence to take action and move forward. The potential outcome is the Ten of Pentacles here, which, like I said, your person is the Two of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles working very hard to bring you this opportunity in life, this Ten of Pentacles, this happily ever after. But it's going to take work between the two of you. For some of you, you are this person's spiritual teacher. They are going to come to you needing assistance and help spiritually, um, you know, coming to that next level um, within their own connection. But you're going to teach them and guide them and lead them through the way. This person has been waiting. You could have been with this person for the last three years. But here comes the truth, the divine truth. The two of you will be able to start a new path, a new way forward based on truth, clarity, honesty, communication. You're on guard because they broke your heart in the past um, with this third party situation. But they're starting to see the power in you and you in them. And this is going to be a very special divine union. A lot of passion between the two of you. They're ready to take charge of their life as are you, Fire Sign. And you're going to move forward um, in an amazing uh, connection. Breaking free from any toxicities. Breaking free from whatever has tied them down. Their uh, significant other could have been trying to keep them there because of children. They're now seeing they can break free and still have a beautiful connection with their children. No longer confused about what they want. The two of you are stepping into most definite power roles um, and moving this forward, putting in the work and getting a well-deserved reward out of it. Um, especially with the Ace of Wands here as well. This is a beautiful connection. The wheel is turning in your favor, guys. So enjoy this. Stay poised. Um, you may hear some things that you don't necessarily like to hear. Um, but remember that not all is what it seems. So have faith in this divine connection because this is going places. And it's going to be 
one very special soulmate connection that the two of you are moving forward with um, and building a new life with. This is the beginning of a new life for you, Fire Signs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Have a beautiful day and God bless.